a record 750 entities of households have been captured under the Resettlement Action Plan for the compensation and freeing of up to 300 hectares of land required for the construction of the central processing facility, a major component of the commercial production of Uganda's oil resource. The priority areas such, such that we are able to meet the deadline that we have in terms of project schedule. So our first focus is on the main industrial area, industrial complex, where the central processing facility is going to be situated because it's very important to get, have access to this land as soon as possible such that work can commence. There's a lot of work to be done there. Government, through the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development, is to receive the report of the resettlement action plan by the oil farms Total, Tal and Sinok before end of this month, July. Uh, we have uh, done, I would say, the census of the facilities, I mean the houses, the crops, and all that in the area. The enumeration of the people who are af potentially project affected persons, we've done all this, form the basis for the compensation of the people who will be affected by the location of uh, this central processing facility. On Monday this week, the joint venture partners under the East African Crude Oil Pipeline once again put out a tender request in the print media in which calls for supply of specific pipes required for the project are being sold in line with the local content threshold. Of course, the industry is very new in the country, so we are also aware that there may be aspects that Ugandan companies are not yet able to supply. In a situation like that, the next stage is to require that the foreign company that is able to supply this or has been selected to supply this does this in joint venture partnership with the Ugandan company. And again, the oil companies who are procuring the services are also making an attempt at this. Reina Ojan, NTV Business.